Hi guys, this is Maxine from doTERRA Metanoia. I'm just coming on today to uh, do a demo on how to make your own gel hand sanitizer. Um, normally I'm more of an advocate for the spray, I do prefer the spray. Um, however, for the toilets, I do prefer to have the pumps that are ready there so that you don't actually have to physically pick something up or spray anything, you can just use the top of your hand and, and pump it out and then that way no germs are getting spread anywhere and not onto door handles and things like that. So that's why I'm going to do the one for today. I've reused um, an old bottle of um, one that I found at the shop, so I've decided that today's the day that I'm going to start making my own. I'm a massive advocate for making using products that I've already got at home and obviously um, as toxic free as possible um, is the best as well, obviously. Um, so this is what I love about this recipe. It's so simple and it's all things that I, I have in my house. And the reason I have a lot of these things as well in my house is because I do try to live toxic free as much as possible um, and I am trying to convert all of my products over to products that I make myself. Um, it works out a lot cheaper um, but also you know what's going into your products as well. So here we go, we've got aloe vera and I buy this aloe vera from Range Products which is in Welshpool if you're here in Perth um, but aloe vera you can get from chemists um, and you'll definitely be able to find obviously aloe vera gel anywhere all around the world. Uh, vitamin E, again, I get this from Range Products and Welsh Pool in Perth. Um, you can get that again from your chemist um, or any of your base products companies that are out there. Um, we'll be using uh, distilled water. And uh, what else have we got here? Yeah, so just those three products plus your essential oils, basically. So the essential oil that we're going to be using is doTERRA's On Guard. doTERRA's On Guard is our immune boosting oil. Um, it's amazing for not only protecting you from germs, uh, protecting you from any um, sicknesses, but it's really good for helping you once you are sick as well, get, getting better a lot quicker. Um, I'm going to add lemon in for the same kind of thing for its um, antibacterial abilities, but also because it's got a lovely smell as well, lovely fresh smell. So I'm going to be combining the two of those. This recipe can be found in my Bible, which is the Essential Life book. This is the fourth edition. Um, I'm waiting to get my fifth edition still, uh, but the fourth edition is still amazing. I actually keep forgetting how amazing this book is. It's so good. So if you are starting out with essential oils and you need some recipes, or if you just want to know how to use the oils, definitely buy yourself this book. It's amazing. It really, really is. Um, it's going to help you in every way possible to um, get a handle on how to use essential oils. Okay, so I've got a bit of a head start. I've already added my aloe vera. Um, now, obviously portion size depends on what size bottle you're using. Um, the one that I'm using is just a 250 ml um, container. So I've got about uh, six tablespoons in this of aloe vera gel and four tablespoons of water. Um, but obviously it depends on the size of your jar. So kind of um, measure out, it's pretty much 60-40 of aloe vera to water, filtered water. Um, I've just used plain old water because that's how I roll and I know that I'm going to be going through this pretty quickly. So um, apart from, you know, filtered water, you can use the distilled water you buy from the shops as well. So all I need to do is add in half a teaspoon of vitamin E gel and this is just going to give you um, a bit of moisturising um, as well. See, I don't like any of the ones with the alcohol in them because I find they dry your hands out. Um, this one's going to give you the moisture that you need in this recipe. So you want to give that a good mix up until you've got, you know, not the, not the lumps. Get rid of all the lumps. And then I'm going to be adding in the essential oils. Now because I am making a mix that's probably a little bit bigger mix than what's in the book, I'm going to be adding and a few more drops of oil. So I'll be doing 10 on guard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And 10 lemon. You notice the citrus comes out a lot quicker than a lot of the other oils, so you've got to be a bit careful of that. Already it's just smelling absolutely beautiful. Now, um, as with a lot of these um, 
pumps, the actual opening is quite small. So um, if you have a piping bag, that would, I suggest that would be the best way because if you were trying to spoon it into this, I have seen people do it on tutorials and it's, it's messy. So I would suggest you either use a piping bag or if you're like me and you can't find yours, then you'll need to use a sandwich bag and then cut a little opening and squeeze it out. Okay, so I've got that done now. I've got it into the little bag. Just gonna clip off the end and squeeze it in. I probably could have done another three tablespoons, well actually probably two tablespoons of aloe vera gel and another tablespoon of water because it's only three quarters full, but it still gives you a good idea um, of how much it's going to fill a 250 ml pump. And that's it, all done. How amazing is that? And it's quick, easy, something that generally most people have um, in the house if they're DIYers for everything. Um, but I mean, even aloe vera gel, a lot of people have got aloe vera gel for sunburns and vitamin E cream for their um, skin anyway. So as I said, these are things you've already got in your home. I've just um, scraped the bowl a little bit with my hands to try and see if it's a sticky formula. It's not sticky at all. It does, it's got a beautiful smell and it doesn't have that whole drying feeling that the other ones normally give you with the alcohol base and everything in them. So I hope that was really good for you. Um, as I said, the book is called The Essential Life. It has every recipe for everything conceive, conceivable um, and for any ailments as well. And it goes through every single oil um, and explains how to use them, what they're for, how they're made, etc. So it really is the most interesting book. So get a hold of that if you can, and I hope you have a good weekend. Bye.